Um, I'm going to tell you tonight the story about Lily. Lily is my youngest child, and I have three of them, by the way, and they're all fur babies. Um, she's a three-year-old standard poodle. She is an adoption out of Manhattan, Kansas. So kind of how she became part of our life was by accident. Um, she, I had a sister who had a roommate in college who was a nurse for a, <laughs> a nurse for um, a woman who used her as a service dog. When that lady was unable to take care of her anymore, my sister called me and asked if I could take her in because I'm a sucker for anything with fur that needs a home. And, <laughs> and so, right, you can't say no. Um, so I was a little nervous at first because I already had two dogs and I knew my husband would tell me I'm insane and it's not happening. So I went up for a K-State football game though and then I met her and it was love at first sight. I had to take her home. So I put her in a car and we drove home and surprised my husband. And he asked whose dog it was and I said, ours. And so surprise, we have another child. He was not pleased at first, um, but Lily being Lily, she totally won over his heart. And as you can see, they're, they're buddies now. And she was supposed to be my dog and that clearly is not the case anymore. She follows him everywhere. This is him at work with my dog. <laughs> and they just, they're buddies now. I don't, you just, you can't turn away from Lily. So um, when we got her to her house, we realized that she was such a calm, patient, wonderful dog. And I was already that person who put coats and shoes and bows in my dog's hair. So I was a little, I was like borderline crazy. Um, and then crazy dog lady thing went off and I thought, let's make this really weird. And <laughs> so then I decided that since she was white, she'd be a great canvas for uh, like I said, a creative outlet. <laughs> this is our first experience. Uh, my sister is on the rowing team at K-State, and so we went to go support her. <laughs> this is a first try, and it went really well. Even the KU people were taking pictures with her, just so you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I loved it, all the people loved it, the team loved it, so she's kind of become the unofficial mascot as we follow the team around and go support them, and get pictures with all the other colleges that aren't cool enough to have a dog like this support them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, she's, she's awesome. She really liked it. She, I know that sounds weird, but she likes the attention. She loves the people. She just loves being around everyone. <laughs> and so it was just really fun for everybody involved. And, you know, she, she knows when she's getting dolled up that we're going somewhere. So it's, it's pretty fun for her. Um, <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. Uh, there are some people that are concerned about, they, they come up to me and they ask if it's safe, if it's okay to do this to her, and if I'm abusing her, and if you've ever met one of my dogs, you know they are so not abused. They are better off than most people. Um, so, you know, not ever, this isn't for every dog. Lily has a special temperament where she's all about this. She sees me getting my tub of markers and colors down and she's already up on the table waiting for me to be painted. This is Christmas. She was, I needed the snowman for Christmas. So there are some things that I do. I never use uh, human dyes or human shampoo or conditioners on them because that's just not good for dog's skin. And I do two different things when I color her. I, one, if I'm coloring head to toe, one color. Um, <laughs> This was actually taken by, yeah. <laughs> um, so if I'm coloring her head to toe one color, food coloring, squirt bottle, water, spray her up and down, take her outside. That was a bad decision to try that in my house. I'm still cleaning purple off of my wall. <laughs> um, if I do stencils, I, I need to rent her out like a NASCAR, is what I've decided, because this is the Young Professionals of Reno County logo at our picnic that we had. and. Um, so that situation, I use non-toxic Crayola markers, hook it up to a little kid's like airbrush set that was meant for children that I use, and uh, I stencil on whatever is going on that day. <laughs> so, you know, her outfits change from event and time of year and things like that. She's Star Spangled Banner for the 4th of July. She's a snowman on Christmas and things like that. Um, that washes out right away. The food coloring does not wash out, so I have to be prepared for her to be colored for a long time. We like to go to all the doggy events. This is a third Thursday event where it was a dog friendly downtown where she got to be a little bit of an artist and she painted us a little painting that we have on our house now. Um, so that was one of her 
we, we really enjoy going to all, painting her or dressing her up and taking her to any events. Um, there's a lot of them. This is an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> there's, there's an Easter egg hunt. There are um, swimming events at the pool, things like that that we take her to. And we just, we just love taking her. There's always costume contests, which she wins all the time, by the way, because um, she's awesome. And, you know, these events are important to us because they support something that's really important to me and my husband, which, which is pet adoption. So you're talking about not going to a pet store and, and picking out a puppy. You know, she was a full-grown dog when we got her, and thank God. You know, I mean, she's just perfection for our home. We don't have to train her. She was already good to go, and she is just the sweetest thing you'll ever meet. And if we would have gone to a pet store, we wouldn't have her in our life. So um, when we go to these events, not only do we donate our money to it, but we get to talk to people and tell them that it's, you know, adopt. You can get a dog as cool as this if you do that, possibly. Not as cool. That doesn't exist, but she's the best. There are growing pains when you walk in your living room or your dining room and she's on the counter getting the toys that you thought you put out of her reach. That's my dining room table right there. I don't know how she did that. She's not that tall. But even with all that, she's pretty perfect and she's a pretty good fit into our family. And she gets along okay with our other two children. So that's our little family and we love our adopted babies. <laughs>